Okay, so in this episode, we're going to talk about how to make a link. And the reason we're going to do this is because in the next episode, we're going to talk about how to make a navigation. And before we can make a navigation, we need to know how to make links. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our index.html. And then we're going to scroll down to where we see the section tags. And inside the section tags, we're going to make our link. Now, I should probably mention that any kind of code we write inside our HTML file is going to get deleted after this episode because we don't actually need it for the upcoming episodes. But you guys should still follow along because it's good practice. And we will actually be keeping the styling that we're going to write in this episode. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and make something called an anchor tag. Now, an anchor tag is what creates the link. So any kind of text or images or divs or any kind of object that goes in between these anchor tags is going to become a link. So the way we write this is by opening up the code, writing A, close it, and then we need to close off the A anchor tag, like so. So anything that goes in between these two are going to be a link. So for this example, we're just going to write click here, exclamation mark. And then we're going to go ahead and save it. And if I refresh my page, you'll actually notice that we do have some text here. Now, if I were to click this, however, you'll notice that nothing really happens. We can't even see the hand symbol we usually get when we hover on top of a link with our cursor. So it's not actually a link yet. So in order to make it link somewhere, and the reason we don't have anything going on when we click it or a hand symbol is because it doesn't know where to link to. So inside our HTML file, we're going to go inside our opening anchor tag. We're going to say space href equal to and then quotation marks. So right now we're telling it where to link to afterwards after we click it, of course. So in here, we're going to go ahead and write contact dot HTML. So right now when we click this text, it's going to link to something called a contact.html file, which we haven't actually created yet. And this is actually going to be a contact page inside our website. So if we actually go ahead and save this and refresh our browser, you'll notice that our link actually changed color and it also created this underline below it. And we do have the hand symbol now. But like I said, we don't actually have the contact.html page. So if I were to click it, it's going to say this web page is not found because like I said, we don't have it inside our root folder. But what you'll notice is that if you go up into the URL, we do actually see that it's linking to contact.html. So if we go back once more and take a look at the way it's styled, you'll notice that it looks very ugly. And this is just the default way a link looks like when you create websites. So if you want to change this, even after you include a reset style sheet, you need to change this into make it a little bit more pretty. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into our style sheet. And then at the very top where we have our own code, we're going to go ahead and write that everything, all anchor tags inside this website space, we're going to open up the code with the curly brackets has to have a certain color. So we're going to write color and then we're going to make it into a black color. And the black color code is hashtag 000. Save it. So right now we're telling it that every single anchor tag inside the website has to be black. So if I refresh this, you'll notice that suddenly it turned black. Now, we also have some underline going on and we also want to get rid of that. And that's actually something called text decoration. So inside our anchor tag, inside our style sheet, we're going to tell it that we also don't want any kind of text decoration. So we're going to write text dash decoration colon spaced. Oh, we do actually need to write text, not test like so. And we need to tell it to have none. So right now we're eliminating any, any kind of text decoration that might be going on inside any anchor tag. So if I save this, refresh my browser, you'll see that the underline disappears, but we still have a link because I can actually still click it. So this is essentially how you create a link. And like I said, you can create dip boxes and all kinds of stuff and just put it inside the anchor tags and it will actually become a link. Actually to kind of test this and show you guys, if I go back to my index.html, if I copy the opening tag of the, the link and then put it before our logo and then I close it after the logo and save it, 
If I go refresh the browser, you'll notice that I can actually click my logo and it goes to another page. So like I said, any, anything that goes in between the anchor tags will link to whatever you tell it to link to. So this is how you create links. And in the next episode, like I said, we're going to learn how to create a menu. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.